No, oh, baloney. The whole thing always gets back to drugs. Hi, my name is Sandra Grasse, and I'm a licensed acupuncturist. Well, one month into our new YouTube channel, and I'm very, very proud to say that it's it's been great. Um, 19 subscribers and over 360 views. Like you guys, you guys rock. Thank you very, very much for your support and for your ideas. And we have a question in particular from a patient that we're working on at the moment because it, it's a long question. So I just want to break it down and give you the best information about it possible. And there's a big surprise for next week as well. So best way to be kept up to date is subscribe to the channel and uh, you'll be the first one to know so keep an eye out for uh, for that big for that big event for uh, for next week and um, we're just as I said we're working on a few of the questions that were uh, that were left for us so we'll uh, we'll be in touch regarding those ones so today I just want to very very quickly go through um, something just touching on what we mentioned last week and, and if you didn't get to see last week's video I'll leave a link up here and also down in the description area for uh, for it and we talked about the annual meeting of the uh, European Society for Human Reproduction and Embryology uh, that happened in Helsinki um, early July and at, at that meeting um, the the abstract book for that uh, for that meeting is over 500 pages so uh, if you want to have a read there's plenty of good information there and particularly for practitioners they probably will want to read it but the um i just selected the uh, just in specifics i want to talk about um the the latest evidence for um you know in terms of acupuncture for ivf or for in vitro fertilization or assisted reproduction so i just selected the uh, the three studies that uh, made it all the way to the top to be uh, worth mentioning at the uh, at that you know annual meeting and there, there's the, the the best one of them i'll leave to uh, to last um and the the other two um that were talked about at the meeting one of them is from uh, one of them is from australia um from two universities in australia together one in adelaide and the other one in sydney and the three researchers the, uh, they proposed that the the title of the the um, the study is women's perceptions of acupuncture in relation to ivf the body and the mind and the proposed study question was how do women having ivf treatment perceive the role of acupuncture and the summary answer was women perceived acupuncture to be preparing their body through physical changes and preparing their mind through psychological changes um so this was a qualitative study and it, it's very very important that you know we're always focusing on you know the, the, the structure of how acupuncture works in terms of protocols and always trying to improve that acupuncture treatment alongside the the clinical protocols but it's important to listen to the other side as well so listen to what the patients what they think about it how they perceive the treatments and, and just to adjust and adapt to the patient's best needs. So the wider implications of the findings were that this qualitative study in, uh, provides insight and deeper understanding of how women think about acupuncture in relation to their bodies in the context of IVF and infertility and provide some insight into their reasons for engaging with this therapy. So you see, it's really, really important to uh, listen to the other side as well. Um, the, uh, the other one is from the first affiliated hospital of Nanjing Medical University in China. And the title of the study was Therapeutic Effect of Acupuncture on the Outcomes of IVF, evaluated by an updated systematic review and meta-analysis. The study question was, this study aims to evaluate the uh, effect of acupuncture on IVF outcomes. And the summary answer was acupuncture improves clinical pregnancy rates among women undergoing IVF based on all the studies. So there you go, based on all the studies that they looked at, um, because this was a, a systematic review and meta-analysis, the, uh, they could conclude that acupuncture improves the clinical uh, pregnancy rates. So very, very good um, to, again, having something like this make it to uh, such important meeting of uh, um, in, in Europe. And... The other one that I really, really am so excited about, and um, I managed to get in touch with the main researcher for uh, for this one. This is from uh, the UK. This is from London, and uh, from one of the university hospitals. And the title is "The Impact of Acupuncture on IVF Success Rates: A Randomized Control Trial." So the study question is um, to examine in a sufficient powered perspective randomized control trial whether acupuncture during IVF treatment can improve IVF success rates. Now, 
can acupuncture improve IVF success rates? That's the question that all the couples want to know. That's that's what everybody wants to know uh, when you know they're talking to to us as practitioners, or even if they're asking their friends or family. So, the the summary answer was acupuncture during IVF treatment significantly improves IVF success rates compared with a basically similar control group having no acupuncture. So they had one group having acupuncture, the other group having no acupuncture, and the answer, what, what they could put together in terms of the, uh, um, the outcome was that it significantly improves IVF success rates. So you can see why we're so excited about this, because we want to know all the ins and outs of this. So we only have the, uh, the abstract, but there's plenty of information on the abstract as well. And the study was going on um, since about late 2013 was when the, uh, I think that's the, the, the start of it. Um, and as I said, I, I got in touch with the, the main researcher and she told me that probably September uh, will be uh, um, the date for, for the full study to be out, but it's not confirmed yet. But I'll probably be making another video and talking about it. It'll be all over, <laughs> It'll be all over the news again uh, and, uh, and um, we'll put it on our website as well. So just to give you a little bit more information, the wider implications of the findings were that the results of this study imply that acupuncture may be offered as a possible method of improving IVF outcome. This study is the first to follow a widely approved consensus protocol and therefore has settled disagreement in the literature and resolved previous disparity. So you see, doesn't get much better than this. You know, there was all, there's always the comments and there's a skeptic saying this, that and the other and this was the first one to actually follow that widely approved protocol and th that's probably going to be the protocol that will be now the one thing to follow. So we're really, really excited to, uh, um, to be well, just waiting on the sidelines to read the whole thing. So there you go. You know, whenever someone asks you, you know, oh, but does it really work? And I've heard acupuncture this and acupuncture that. The studies are out there, and I'm only talking about these because these are the latest ones that uh, that have been published. Um, so if there's anything else that comes out in the meantime, I, I will be uh, I'll be talking about them as well. Um, so as I said, subscribe to the channel. There's a big announcement for next week. Keep an eye out for that one. And thanks so much for all the views and all the comments. Keep the ideas coming. Keep your questions coming. And hey, until next time, be kind and be healthy. Oh, baloney. The whole thing always gets back to drugs.